We're going to unbox the Sterling 40 litre um, compressor fridge. It says it's a C cup, which is formerly Danfoss. Um, uh, there we go, what's that there? Those details. And that one's. I read some reviews online. They don't seem like a too bad, too bad a fridge. Probably a little overkill. was sort of on. That's been duct taped to the top. Awesome. Dude, the lid actually looks pretty good quality. There we go. The lid actually looks pretty good quality and it feels it feels pretty good too. That feels really good. Inside is our bag. The bag that comes with it. There's a picture of it somewhere. There we go. That's the picture of it. So that's the bag. Pretty cool. Uh, box of bits, which will open in a sec. Another manual. Okay, so there's a manual on the top, and there's another manual there. Awesome. That's um, cool. So we've got a nice cage in there. Oh, centre's removable. That's handy. If you just want to throw a whole box of beer in there, it'd probably fit a. Ooh, maybe not a carton of stubbies, but maybe a carton of cans, I reckon. A 30 pack of cans would probably fit straight into that basket with that removed. I'm guessing. Fortunately, I don't have one to try for you. Anyway, I'll try and get it out of the box with one hand, eh? Hmm. It's actually heavier than expected. These people online were saying it was really light. Just give me a second, I'll get it out of the box. in the background. Sterling, 40 litre. Oh, yep, it's definitely on rubber feet. Um, there's your inputs down there. It does 12 and 24 volt and AC power. Um, and that just looks like a, comp a um, standard computer cable. And there's your switch for your battery saver. Um, not sure which is which. Like low is that? Does that mean it cuts off really low, or does it use low power before it cuts off? Don't know. I'll have to read the book on that one. Control panel up here. Um, upside down, of course. Because why would you want to look at it from this angle? It really makes no sense having that that way. That's okay. So yeah, doesn't look too bad on the outside. Plastics feel good. Clip feels good. The lid is really solid. Um, I reckon. Oh, you, if you were light, you could stand on that. I'm putting about half my weight on it. So I'm putting about probably 40 kilos on that, and it's not shifting. So if you're light, you could probably stand on it. I'll give it a sit test. Oh, look at that. Perfect height. 
Nice and solid. That's pretty good. If anything, it'd be a bloody good esky. Um, yeah, so we'll open up the box. Open up the box a bit, eh? I could have got a bigger knife, but I'm not trying to be crocodile Dundee here. We got some weird plastic bits. They're for the handles, I guess. Put your own handles on. Awesome. So we got four of them. Uh, some washers. These actually look like stainless steel washers. Huh. Definitely stainless steel. That's um, surprising to say the least. So yeah, we've got four of them for the handles, obviously. Um, we've got a power cable and a 12 volt cable. And the two handles. Actually, pretty, they feel pretty good too. A bit of weight to them. They're steel. Um, powder coated steel. Some screws to go in, and they're definitely stainless steel as well. Allen key screws. That little ripper, give it the Allen key to put them in. How good's that? Right, I'll stick it up on the bench. Without further ado. Sorry for not using props to do that. Ah, oh, rip it open. Alright, get this going, eh? So I've got the um, 12 volt supply in the shed, so I'm just going to use the 12 volt for now. It's uh, probably going to be easier in this setting. So that plug goes in fairly nicely. Oh, it's, I think it's in. No, it's not. Going further. Yeah, wow, that's. Oh, really takes some effort to get that in there. Just probably a good sign. It means it's not going to just fall out. It does actually cover the fuse, so uh, you can't see if the fuse is from any angle there. But anyway, doesn't matter. I guess the idea is that the cable goes in the way of the AC power, so you can't have both in at the same time. Um, so I'm just going to leave that on the middle setting. I don't know which is which at this point in time. And we'll plug her into a nice, a nice handy uh, 12 volt power supply just here, which I'll need to turn on. Ooh. I haven't used this socket before, but anyway, it doesn't feel right. Well, it feels in there, I think. Yeah. Bit of a weird socket that. It's a Nava one, I think, but it's just a bit weird. Okay, I'll get the power on. Uh, here we go. Boom. What are we reading? Reading 13.34 off the solar at the moment. But it is the afternoon. So I'll flick this on. 13.3 so It should be drawing power So I'm going to put the spotties on 13.1 Yep So It's 
plugged in. It should be powered. Uh -huh. There's not an off switch. There you go. Did you hear that start? It's very quiet. Very, very quiet. And that's on max. So I'll, sw I'll switch it to eco and see if we can hear a difference in the, um, in the motor. Yeah, it's definitely slower. I'll uh, turn it back onto the max. You'll hear it spin up again. Yeah. So it's saving 12.8 now at my meter. 12.7. I'm just going to draw a bit of current. To just monitor the current that it's going to draw. Um, this is set on 13, I believe. Oh no, that's your. Okay. That's just the current temperature. I don't know why it would be 13 inside, but. I'm going to set it to 4 degrees. And it's 18 inside now. But it was 13 before. It's not very clear on that display, but anyway. Um, so inside, oh, we've got a pretty blue light in that. Um, I can feel it's getting cold already in the walls, which is a good sign. This little spot up here must be for you. I don't know. I don't think the cooling goes into that part, so. Oh no, it actually feels like it does. Yeah, it definitely feels like it does cool on those sides. So it's not for your butter or anything, I suppose. It's just a, it's a spot to put other stuff. Yeah, so that's cooling down quite nicely. Oh, there you go. It's turning 40 litre. It turns on.